All right, good morning, everybody. Hi, this is Miss Ray from the Great Falls Public Library, and today is our very first story time of the month. Last week was November. What did we celebrate last week? Yes, Thanksgiving was last week, and last month was November, and now it's a whole new month, and it starts with the letter D. Do you remember what month that is? It's December. It's December. What letter? And so December starts with letter D. Can you think of an enormous prehistoric animal that is extinct that starts with the letter D? They're extinct. There aren't any more of them. Dinosaurs. So in celebration of December, we are going to have dinosaurs in December story time this whole month long. So we are going to start this off today. Um, so we are going to start with a dinosaur good morning song. But while you're joining us, if you could please include your child's first name, other side, in the comments. Maybe it's below. I bet it's below for you guys. Um, and please put your child's name in there so that we can sing a good morning song to them next. All right. So we are going to start with Pachycephalosaurus. Have you seen these guys? They have big, hard heads. Big, big, hard heads. And they're pretty big too, aren't they? There's a, there's a grown-up person. Dinosaurs get a lot bigger than this, still, though they do. So, when pachycephalosauruses wake up in the morning, they go smash, smash, smash. Can you smash your hands together? Yeah. All right, here we go. When pachycephalosauruses wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When pachycephalosaurus... When pachycephalosauruses wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? They say hello by going smash, 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 smash. And that is what they say. Good job. All right. What about this one? This is a brachiosaurus. These are just a few of the fantastic dinosaur books that we have in our collection. Oh my goodness, look how big this one is. There's the, there's the grown-up human and there's the brachiosaurus. Big long neck, absolutely huge. So when brachiosauruses wake up in the morning, they say stomp, 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 stomp. So you can stomp your feet or you could pat your knees with me. Here we go. When brachiosauruses wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When brachiosauruses wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Stomp, 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 stomp. And that is what they say. Good job, guys. All right, let's take a look at this guy. This is a pterosaur. All right. Twi trick question. Are these flying pterosaurs? Are those actually dinosaurs? They're not actually dinosaurs. It's a trick. But they're kind of like a dinosaur because they are big, they are cool, and they are extinct. We don't have these anymore. All right, so when pterosaurs wake up in the morning, they say flap, flap, flap. So I want you to flap your pterosaur wings. Yeah, good job. When pterosaurs wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When pterosaurs wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Flap, 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 flap. Yeah. And that is what they say. Good job. All right, how about this one? Ichthyosauruses. These lived in the ocean. Are those really a dinosaur? Those aren't really a dinosaur either. 
So do you see how our pterosaur, I'm sorry, our um, ichthyosaur has flippers right there? So when ichthyosaurs wake up in the morning, they go paddle, 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 because they are always swimming. Here we go. When ichthyosaurs wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When ichthyosaurs wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Paddle, 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 paddle. Yeah. And that is what they say. All right. And one more. Can you guess? Can you guess what's coming next? Really tall. Eats a lot of meat. Big teeth. Tyrannosaurus Rex. So when T-Rexes wake up in the morning, what do you think they do? They go chomp, chomp, chomp. Here we go. When T-Rexes wake up in the morning, they always say hello. When T-Rexes wake up in the morning, they always say hello. And what do they say? Chomp, 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 chomp. And that is what they say. Awesome singing, guys. That um, is based on a song from Jay Burry, so definitely check them out. Um, and if you are watching, if you could uh, put your child's name in the comments so that we can sing good morning to them in just a minute. And for now, I think we'll sing Dino Diddy. This one comes from Jay Burry, too. And it's to that, uh, the tune of Dua Diddy, which is a, um, which is a song that maybe your, maybe your grandparents listened to, um, back when they were young, or maybe even your great grandparents. So we're going to start with that same stomping rhythm. Yes. A hungry dino walking down the street, singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. He's looking for something good to eat, singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. This part's call and response, so I'm going to sing it. I want you to sing it back. He's big, he's big, he's strong, he's strong, won't be hungry very long. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Let's do it again. A hungry dino walking down the street. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. She's looking for something good to eat. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. She's big, she's big, she's strong, she's strong. Won't be hungry very long. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Singing dino diddy diddy dum diddy do. Good job. All right, I've got a couple of names. Peyton and Elena. Hi. All right. So we are going to start by clapping for Peyton. Can you clap with me? Let's all clap because Peyton is here. Peyton is here. Peyton is here. Let's all clap because Peyton is here. Peyton is here today. Yay! Yay, Peyton! And let's sing for Elena now. Let's clap. Let's all clap because Elena is here. Elena is here. Elena is here. Let's all clap because Elena is here. Elena is here today. Yay, Elena! Anybody else? Well, if I see your name a little bit later, I'll be sure to come back and sing for you. All right, let's do. Let's do head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So, do you guys know that song? So, I'm going to stay here on the ground because unfortunately I move around a lot better than my camera does. But I want you guys to stand up. Stand up. All right, so start with your hands on your head. We're gonna start nice and slow, and then we're gonna speed it up and go really, really fast. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, 
shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job, guys. Let's do it a little bit faster. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good job. Can we do faster? Yeah, you bet we can. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Well, thank you for being here, Elena. Let's do it even faster. Here we go. Ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Woo! Awesome job, guys. All right, are you ready for a story? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. All right, let's read our story. This is Cinderella Rex. I'm gonna pull you closer so you can see the pictures better. Here we go. Cinderella Rex by Christy Weber and Holly Haddam. What is that dinosaur wearing? A fancy pink dress and a crown. Ooh, and there's a little Triceratops back here. I wonder who that is. That Triceratops has wings. Let's read it. Cinderella Rex loved to dance, but her stomp mother did not let her dance. She had to clean up after her mean stomp sisters. Let me move even closer. There we go. We can kind of see that. I'm sorry this camera isn't a little clearer. One day a letter came. Everyone was invited to a ball at the castle. Cinderella Rex was finally going to dance, but first she had to help her stomp sisters get ready. There is no time left, her stomp mother said. You are not ready. They left without Cinderella Rex. That was mean. Cinderella Rex was sad. She wanted to dance at the ball. She could only dance alone in her garden. Then Cinderella Rex saw a puff of magic. A new dinosaur was there. Who are you? Cinderella Rex asked. I am your fairy, Triceratops. There's the Triceratops with the wings. I am your fairy Triceratops, she said, and I will help you. The fairy Triceratops waved her magical horns. A dress appeared, two shoes appeared, a great big squash turned into a coach. It was magic. Have you ever seen a squash like that? Did you eat a squash like that for Thanksgiving? Yum. Did you ever ride in a squash like that? I haven't either. Cinderella Rex thanked her fairy Triceratops. She was going to the ball. The magic lasts until midnight, the fairy Triceratops said. Hurry home. At the ball, Cinderella Rex heard the music. She could not wait. She started dancing. Everyone stared. Cinderella Rex was the best dancer they had ever seen. Who is that dancer? The prince asked. I do not know, said Cinderella Rex's stomp mother. That was not nice. 
The clock struck midnight. Cinderella Rex had to go home. She ran out of the castle. The prince followed her. He wanted to talk to her. So there she is. And there's the prince chasing after her. Wait! Cinderella Rex ran downstairs. Her shoe fell off. She tried to pick it up, but her arms could not reach it. She has tiny little T-Rex arms. There we go. She kept running. She left her shoe. When the With the final chime, the magic was gone. Cinderella Rex was happy, though. She had danced at the ball. The prince had a plan. The next day, he took the shoe to every house in town. See, there's the prince with the magical shoe. He tried the shoe on Cinderella Rex's older stomp sister, but her feet were too small. Then he tried the shoe on Cinderella Rex's younger stomp sister, but her feet had too many toes. Next was Cinderella Rex, but her stomp mother wanted to try. Then her stomp mother stomped. The shoe was crushed. How would the prince find the dancer? Oh, no. Cinderella Rex knew what to do. She danced. Everyone looked at the prince. Cinderella Rex, he said, will you teach me to dance? So Cinderella Rex moved into the castle. Her stomp sisters had to clean up for themselves. Cinderella Rex was too busy dancing. The end. Did you like that story? I think we have five weeks in December. So I think that we, that is just the first of four more awesome dinosaur books this month. And I just wanted to show for mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa, and all the other grown-ups. If you are a grown-up dinosaur fan, we have some really awesome dinosaur books for grown-ups too. This is called My Beloved Brontosaurus by Brian Swiddick. And this one is Dinosaurs Rediscovered, The Scientific Revolution in Paleontology by Michael J. Benton. And both of these would be a wonderful reintroduction for the adult dinosaur fan who would like to catch up on paleontology. And you can find those upstairs. Our dinosaur books are all upstairs at, what's the magic number? 567. 567 is where you will find the dinosaur books. There's a whole section of them and um, any library staff member can help you find them. All right. Well, thank you so much for reading and singing with me today. Do you remember See You Later, Alligator? Let's sing that one to say goodbye. Here we go. See you later, alligator, after a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, it's jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Good job, let's sing it one more time. See you later, alligator, after a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, it's jellyfish. Whew. See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Awesome. It was so wonderful that you could come and sing and read with me today, guys. I will see you again next Wednesday at 1030 for another Dinosaurs in, De in December uh, Storytime Live here on Facebook. And on Friday morning at 1030, I will be live on Facebook again with a dinosaur-themed toddler time for babies.